With the 10th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select J.J. McCarthy, quarterback, Michigan. Yes, an exciting night for J.J. McCarthy and his family and coach. I know it was an exciting night as, for us as fans. It had to be an exciting night for you guys as a coach, as a front office, just bringing a young man like this into the organization. Yeah, we went into this draft, especially after we made the decision to acquire a second first round pick. We really hoped uh, that the board would maybe fall our way to get our guy, uh, JJ, who we were, I, I really identified as a guy we wanted to build around as our quarterback of the future, uh, but then possibly be able to hold on uh, 223 by not having to move too much uh, to get him and acquire an impact defensive starter, uh, which we were able to do in Dallas. But really want to take a look at JJ right here and dive into the tape with you, Pete, on really what jumped out when we uh, really went through this whole uh, extensive evaluation process of JJ and really uh, what you're looking for as a starting point is all the, the traits as a passer, you know, and really when I, you, I, you've heard me talk about it before, but accuracy, arm strength, anticipation, uh, he's He's got really good technique and fundamentals. And if we rewind that right there, you're going to see uh, all three of those traits coming into play. But how about the fact that when he pulls the trigger to throw that ball right there, look at what he's looking at, Pete. Yeah. He's really looking at uh, a defender stride for stride, side by side. Where am I going to put this throw to take him where I want the receiver to go to not only beat the backside corner right here, but the man covering him as well. Because really, I've seen this done by five, six, seven year veterans in the NFL, understanding, hey, who's gonna be showing up to replace in that area? I might take an extra hitch to find out, but by the time you do, uh, that defender is right there to make the play, but he clearly beats that player from retracing back into the problem. That's awareness, that's all kinds of things. And then from a technique and fundamental standpoint, just the compact, fluid, thrower, ball jumping out of his hands, finishing through his target right there. A lot to like in that snap about J.J. McCarthy. And, and recognizing voids, that's something you see with high school kids. They wait till they're open yep. to throw it. And then in college, they may get there. But you watch NFL film, that's exactly what you see. You see the quarterback already throwing the football before that receiver is even open yet. Yeah, rhythm and timing, uh, it's its our superpower as an yeah. offense if the quarterback can operate uh, with those two things as a requirement. Uh, another big part of our offense, Pete, as you know, is the play action pass. And uh, with the, uh, the era of college football being a spread game, see how many receivers we can get on the field. Uh, there still is an, a nature to our offense where we want to marry the run in the pass with running the football and then play action to try to take care, take advantage of some defenders. So right here, you're going to see they're in the pistol here with the halfback right behind JJ, but they're running a play pass. And you're going to see him turn his back to the defense, uh, get a great fake in there. And then when he turns back around, this is an NFL concept. We really run plays like this where you're going to basically put this receiver on a deep, uh, we call it a, a field post where he's running a post from one side of the field to the opposite side. Uh, but we're going to try to tie down potentially that safety right here uh, where we're going to try to isolate him and truly really give JJ a chance to see what this defender does. If he wants to go ahead and get a bunch of depth right there, we'll throw the ball to the tight end uh, right there, number 18 on the sail cut. If he wants to try to drive up forward and potentially cover that route, that opens up a deep shot for the home run. And as you see, JJ, one hitch, sees that safety declare and launches an absolute laser. I love the graphic right there uh, because I think he threw that thing about 55 plus on a line, uh, which is pretty unique. Once again, take a look at it. Can we get a great fake? Get this defense right here to step up from a standpoint of not only uh, either one of those two linebackers, but how about the back end? And then how fast can you recognize coverage while the pocket allows and then throw a strike down the field to go ahead and get a 60 yard gain right there? Because you guys had, there were a number of quarterbacks this year. It was, it was a, an incredible year as yep. far as quarterbacks go. There weren't many that did this, that turned their back. And so this is, is this one less thing then you kind of have to teach or is it just, Nice to see it and say he can do it. You just know he can. Do it's it. always easier to teach uh, different facets of your offense when you can say, hey, just like you did <laughs> against Minnesota in that game on the field <laughs> poster, just like you did uh, against Washington in the national championship, you ripped that high cross right up and over the backside safety. Those are easy to teach because we all learn best when we can learn off of our previous experience. So it does matter, Pete. Uh, it's not the only requirement we look for, but it is. it brings me joy, I should say, uh, when you do see it on their tape. And it matters to them because they know you watch tape. 
That's right. You pull those plays out like that. That's right. They've got, whoa, this is the NFL. And then the last one, you know, there is an element in this game, Pete. We can't block them all all the time, even when you got a hat for a hat. So there's going to be times where quarterbacks need to show the ability to uh, overcome the play, resolve conflict, still remain a passer, and throw the football in rhythm. You know, we have a saying around here, there's on schedule and off schedule progressions that can continue. So you're going to see JJ right here. You know, he's going to be looking uh, all the way over here, looking at his first progression then he's going to reset his eyes back over this way and when he does that you're going to see him feel uh, that natural should shouldn't be a free runner they should have this blocked up there's nothing that told jj before the snap but this is all those reactions two hands on the ball great fundamental swiping away resetting his feet and moving the chains i don't think it was talked about enough uh, as far as a lot of people talked about the limited amount of snap of throws, uh, variations, whatever it was that he had because they ran the football so well uh, and had a, such a, you know, equal run and pass type of offense. But what you don't always give him enough credit for, Pete, is those third down conversions. You can't run the ball on first and 10 if your punter's running on the field to punt it. You can't sustain drives unless you're making plays on those D&Ds. We call them weighty downs for a reason because they have more weight than others on your chance to have success as an offense. Well, something tells me he'll have plenty of opportunities to throw the ball in first and second down right. here. So That's we'll get right. him nice and nice and ready for that third down. So That's right. coach, thank you so much for being here. We're so excited about JJ McCarthy. There's more to come right here on Film Room with head coach Kevin O'Connell.